Alright guys, here's another long one. I bought this um, Spares and Repairs LG washing machine. They say it's um, the pump's noisy and it's not pumping out water, so I'm going to have a look. It cost 35 quid and I picked it up and here it is. Uh, just checks all the wires, there's no cuts to the um, electric um, plug and connection and I'm just plumbing it in outside. And I'll just put it on this um, quick wash 30 minute and here's the problem it's not draining it's noisy the pump you can hear it the water's not going down it's supposed to be draining down i can hear the pump operating but um, there's like a clocking noise inside there so as described there is a problem with the pump it sounds like the impellers or the rotors uh, dislodged or something so okay gonna disconnect it from the power and have a look and dismantle it and here you can see I'm just um, dismantling the unit uh, just messing about now here I'll give you a more detailed version so first thing you want to do there's two screws at the back let's undo the, those two screws it's for the top cover and it comes off and then at the back of the control panel there's two screws there just remove those two And if you remove the soap tray, there's two screws here, two long screws. Just remove those also. Once you've done that, all you need to do is lift the control panel upwards and just rest it on the top. And then there's two screws here at the top of the door housing. Just got to remove them too. And now that they're done, you've got to get down here to the um, drainage plug. And uh, there's two screws in here, just give you a close up. Two white screws there, just move this cable out of the way. Just undo the, these two screws here. And once you've got them, all you need to do, once you've got them out, just pull this bottom cover forwards, it clips in, and just lift it out. And just move that out of the way. And then they just remove the two screws at the bottom of the door housing. And you can see I've got them out there. So um, this has got a bit of water left in it. So what I've got to do is remove this. There's a ring that goes around the seal with a um, spring on it. Just to give you a close up of what that looks like. Just got to remove that um, retaining clip and push the uh, door seal in out of the way and here I'm just going to let the water out the bottom it's outside so I can do that with the bottom door cover if you just pull the bottom out slightly then you can just lift the whole thing up and I'll show you you just hook on at the top hooks just pull the bottom out lift it up and all I'm going to do is tuck this door housing to the side of the machine there's a connector for the door switch but I'm going to leave that connected and then finally, just going to remove this. Um, it's a PCB housing. Just two screws, slide it to the one side, and undo these ties, and let's put that out of the way. As you see, I've undone a couple of the um, retaining clips for the hoses, and you need to undo these three hoses here, the clips for these hoses, and then just pull the pipes off. on it and before I disconnect it I'm gonna just take a picture of the how the wires were before I disconnect the um, spade connectors Pumps water out of the machine, 
the other one small one there circulates the um, water through a little orange um, device on the top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the pump outside you can see the little drain connector still attached there it's just uh, three screws on this one and you can see I've got the pump out here and straight away I can see a problem this impeller is loose it's doing nothing so it's just wobbling around so that's where the problem is it's, you can't pump the water out maybe the motor is still spinning but you can't pump the motor out as in this condition and here you can see I've dismantled the unit and it's, if you just have a look inside the, obviously the seal has failed so it's collected all water and soap it looks like bits of grease and washing so this pump's completely um, no good so this will have to be replaced so I'm gonna have to have a look at see if I can source a new one I found one on the internet for £11.75 and if you have a look here in the description in the seller's description that's the actual model I've got there F140 TDS so I've ordered it and a couple of late couple of days later it's arrived and this is the new unit the grey one and I'll just hold the old unit up against it just so you can see the difference or indifference obviously the black one's the damaged one and the grey one is the new unit so it's just a matter of fitting it, the units in correctly and the right way around so I can put the connectors on and um, it's got a seal around it so you've got kind of kind of like got it squeeze it in and make sure it's the seals pushed in correctly also as you can see here I'll show you here it's got a black seal ring going around the side so once you've got the right position it's just a matter of um, pushing it home all the way around And now that it's seated, it's just a matter of putting the screws back in, the three screws. And that's it fully assembled with a new pump, new drainage pump. So it's just a matter of putting it back onto the machine. Bit of a long process, so I'll just show you stages. Here I'm just putting the, um, what well I removed the main board, one of the main boards, and I'm just putting the tub cover back on, the front cover for the machine back on, just uh, slots in, and with four bolts going around the side. And here you can see me just um, fitting the top seal back around, and there's like a spring um, clamp that goes around the edges and just putting the bottom of the machine in for the housing for the uh, pump drainage and that's just the control panel going back in and it's just two screws for the uh, side each side of the salt tray which is also inserted and there you go just putting the top back on there's two screws at the back to fix that and it seems to be washing fine just gotta wait to this um, drain out section see if the pump's working okay now and here you can see it's starting to drain out let's take it on the back here where, where the hose is and you can hear it nice, nice and powerful drainage coming out there water being pumped out um, with um, pressure this time and as you can see the water's completely drained out of it so the pump's working fine now and there's no noise as before, no rumbling. Here you can see it's just at the end of its cycle. And that's it. Um, that's the end. Working fine. Once again, and thanks for watching once again. And uh, please subscribe.